Update D&D Inner Castle fans. The Orcs Venture table at the upcoming D&D Inner Castle in March is all sold out. Which is very out. exciting. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to give up my seat at the table to let someone else get in. Andy and will sit, stand. I'll sit on the floor. Andy will stand I'm in fine with uncomfortable it. shoes. There are still places available DM. in the uh, the same session, the same time that we will be there. So if you want to play Dungeons & Dragons with such Dungeon Masters as Jasper Cartwright, who was in last week's One Shot Wonder, and Jeremy Cobb from Three Black Halflings, you can. You can still do that. Come along to the castle. We'll be there. I'll be on the floor. That's how you'll know it's me. <laughs> He'll be the one massaging his hurt feet. Yeah, it'll be a cobblestone, because it's a castle, did I mention? There'll be a there'll be a flagon I'll be drinking from. All castle stuff. He'll be on the ramparts. I'll be in the oubliette. Crena- crena- <laughs> crenellations. Yeah. Murder hole. Uh-huh. Those staircases that do that. Siege engine. Yeah? Yeah. Moat. Moat. Port Cullis. Port p- bloody Cullis. All these things I think and we've more. made our point. Yeah, exactly. Like okay. the Port Cullis will make a point in my chest when it's lowered onto it. So if any of that sounds like your kind of thing, your cup of tea, then you can check out the link in the description of this video and uh, book it for yourself. d and in a castle. Check it out. So yeah, basically Corazon, in front of you there is this sort of like squirming little griffin with a very soft looking tummy uh, that's kind of just there like sort of freezes and is just like... Pet it, obviously. (laughs) Egbert. (laughs) Sorry. Carry on. I reach into my pocket for a piece of jerky and I sort of just gingerly extend it. It sort of flaps onto its its sort of like taloned feet. Kind of just like... "Mm, mm, mm, mm." Num nums? Good. It kind of takes it. Like... I give it a little scritch on its belly. Oh. <laughs> this is just for me. Yeah. Oh. If this is us for the next hour and a half, I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attempt to just scoop it up. See if oh, I can. Yeah, scoop it up. At first, cool. it's like ah, ah, and it sort of you know like when you see um, like a falconer with a, a a bird like on a leather glove, and you're like, mm. oh, that thing's gripping tight. There's a sort of a pressure on your sleeve, and you're like, "Oh, this thing, oh, oh this," but uh, but it's not too too harsh, and it kind of is like repositioning. It's trying to get comfortable. Okay, then I'm, I'll move it up onto my shoulder. Okay, it's it like it's wobbling like a cat sort of. Okay, you okay? Kind of, you okay? But it's trying. It's like. <laughs> All right. You get used to this. I mean, I used to have a parrot, but I didn't look after it or feed it, and it died. But this one, <laughs> that was the practice. <laughs> that was my that was a practice <laughs> uh, shipmate. But I like this. I've already named that egg Corazon Junior. This one can be Percy Junior. I see. Oh, oh. Give it a little, give it a little stroke. Percy Junior. Oh, Percy Junior. Great. Just gonna sit on my shoulder here. Okay. Dob, if memory serves, you are clomping your way across the bay with your extreme heft and enlarged lungs. Yes. Uh, trying to reach the joyful damnation. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so I'm underwater, bottom of the ocean. Um, I wish to push up like this so okay. that I uh, crest the water, mm-hmm. uh, blow out a spout, and try and <laughs> just look for the joyful damnation, see if I can just see it anywhere. Yeah, sure. It's um, it's not that far away. It's like 20 foot in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. oh, great. Well, I was lucky not to ba- oh, bang into the Is that going to affect the, 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 the stability boat. of the boat at all? Uh, there's like, it's you send up quite a bit of chop, but yeah. it's fine. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, I want to, yeah, I want to come aboard. Okay. I reckon, I reckon it'll, I eyeball the ship and I eyeball myself and I think it's going to be fine. Weight wise, balance wise, it's not yeah. really a capsized situation. No, this is a pretty big ship. Like, it's not hard to imagine eight people climbing over the rail, like say daggers and mouths, to come and murder you all as you sleep. So uh, why would it happens all the time? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, up I come. Remind me of my dimensions again. Um, I'm like eight times the size, right? Well, or, no, you're eight, eight times, times as tall, and you're just sort of you're just huge. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You are. Yeah, I'm just big. You're you're very, I'm yeah, like the Hulk. Just very big Hulk dog. Dimensions. Yeah, like Hulk. Hulk right. dog. All right, up I come. Okay. Um, quick retcon. As you came through the bay, you passed like half a dozen lobster pots. Did you browse any of them? Did you have a little? Did you help yourself? Uh, did I look at and browse a lobster pot? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think Dob is vegetarian. Apart from that time, he ate old leather in the last t- box venture. So <laughs> I had a look in the lobster pots. Okay. But, um, you didn't take any. I didn't eat any. Did okay. you bring any for your friends? Did I bring vegetarian? any lobsters? Yeah. Yes, but they're not for eating. Okay. Roll a roll a d twelve. 
Okay. Uh, apparently everyone's just getting pets today. <laughs> oh, sweet. Five? There are five lobsters inside your shirt. Tremendous. How much pinching damage do you take? <laughs> yeah. How intentional was that? <laughs> One can never tell with Dom, and I would like to have to guess. The, the yeah. fish in your lung that has a sword and a, a suit of chainmail <coughs> seems uneasy. Yeah, but suddenly he has a lot more space, so probably happy. Oh no, Very what true. if it grows to fill the space like fish do, and then my lungs shrink again, and <laughs> my, my, uh, my lung wraps <laughs> around. It should grow over 12 hours. Into the yeah. Thing. If so that were the case, most fish are in the sea, they would grow to the size of the sea. Yeah, why isn't there one giant the size fish? Of the <laughs> size of the Atlantic Ocean? Because there are lots of fish trying to do it. They bump against each other. That's fair. It's, think about it. Yeah, it's definitely that, and it's not strange. the case that it's more that a confined space will restrict a fish's growth. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad we got that sorted. Um, okay. All of you, uh, like under the deck, you hear like the, the, <laughs> there is a bit of like there's a, a good old sort of creaking noise oh. as the rope ladder takes a surprising I, amount of strain. A steady Percy Junior. The ship does kind cool. of like. It's all right. It's okay. Um, Feed him right. another little piece of jet. I flop onto the quarter deck. Okay. Great. I'm gonna head up. Yeah, head up onto the deck to see what's causing all this commotion Are on you my boat. Around? On there. I'm not flopping around, but I imagine the lobsters are kind of crawling out from oh. my shirt. Don, mm -hmm. what did I say about permission to come aboard? You have to ask for it and then be piped aboard by Mr. Egbert. Sorry, uh, Egbert, Mr. Egbert, sorry, would you pipe me aboard? Uh, uh, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to try it anyway. I hand Egbert the pipe for piping people aboard. Here's the pipe. Okay, uh, is it a musical pipe? Do I play it? Yes. Okay, I, I, I try and... Pipe quickly. Try and pipe, and it, it like, you know in... Um, you know, like a monster truck rally where they have those like exhaust pipes out the side that fire flame, mm. jets of flame. It's like that, but coming out of the pipes. Nice. Okay. With each note, yeah. Yep. Um, right. Make me a charisma performance check, please. All right. Can't believe you're making me roll for this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, this is nine. You play a just a. It's just a dirge. Like, <laughs> like you really take the wind out of everyone's sails. Oh. oh. Look, I know you think this is silly, but if we don't have these rules on board ship. If we don't obey this, then there could be chaos elsewhere. I run a tight ship. You're, you're, you're preaching to the choir here, Corazon, but I have important information to share. Go on then, share it. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, right. pipe the sharing. Pipe yeah. the sharing tune, Mr. I'm okay. waiting for the sharing Another signal. Check, please. Yeah. That is a 15. Oh, it's it's good. It's um, getting better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you get little gouts of flame out. Yep. Yeah. And you it's, make like uh, a little fanfare. Like... It's word out by cameo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Thank you. The there aren't that many holes on the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to be real creative, but you, you yeah. smash it. I'm not going to ask. I sit quietly in reverence and then launch into my tail. Uh, okay, well, Shatter Shield. I had a chat with the Shat, as he <laughs> likes to be called. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure he doesn't like to be called that. I think that's some what Rust on the Harbour like to be some, called. Some chatter with Yay. the chatter. Oh. You can have inspiration on that one. Thank you. Okay, um, so yeah, so here's the situation. Um, shatter Shield made some good points. What? About the, I know, about the Dragon Dawn, about looking after the, the Golden Dragon. Basically, you he hate was, Shatter Shield. I know, I know. Right, this is, is some kind of huge doppelganger of Dob. A uh, right. Cast, a, cast a magic on him, see if he's real. Uh, I cast detect magic on Dob. Okay. See if he's a doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm oozing magic. Oh yeah. I mean, is, is the owl palette magic, or is it well, pharmaceutical? Let's, let's ask him. Uh, <laughs> a little from column A. <laughs> <laughs> let's ask him something only Dob would know. Go on then. Um, Prove it's me. All right. Would you like a bath to get some of that horrible river muck off you? Uh, it's fine, thanks. I think it'll rain later. Let's double Seems right. Seems legit. Let's <laughs> <Yeah>. double right. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, fine. Shatter Shield was saying that as long uh, as the uh, the golden egg is around and as long as it is a golden dragon, it's always going to be hunted and, you know, prey for, for, for dragon hunters. But that basically what the dragon door order is proposing mm. is a safe haven for the golden dragon, which sounds not terrible. I still have some questions, but I did sort of say we might meet up with them and discuss it at a neutral location of our choosing somewhere near the town that we've just come from. Also, uh, 
Egbert. Yeah. I think we have all been super respectful of your right to privacy, re why you're not in the Dragon Door anymore. Mm. Um, and I don't necessarily want to you turn away from that sensitivity. Good. But or, also. or anything. But also, Shattershield seemed surprised that we didn't know why you weren't in the order anymore. And so I guess I just want to ask you, pal to pal, <laughs> is there anything we should know? Uh, I play the revealing secrets note on the pipe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. I don't want to talk about it because I'm horribly embarrassed by what happened and still feel a deep, deep sense of shame about it. Uh, okay, well. Okay, well, one of us has got zone of truth, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we all share something we're embarrassed about? Yeah. And then we'll have a bond of shame. <laughs> yeah. We'll all pass the pass the talking stick back and forth. <laughs> we, all have thing. Thing. we all have things that we regret or that we wish we could have done better, mm. Egbert. Um, uh, won't, won't you let us, your friends, help you? Uh, you know, heal and, and put, the, put the past behind. Hey, a problem shared is a problem halved. Egbert. Also, I don't know what you did, but I know who you are. <laughs> and also, have you seen the stuff that we have been doing? Mm, yeah. Like, That's my concern. Do you remember <laughs> some embarrassing stuff about yeah, Egbert? Right. Do you remember, Do you remember the... when he got covered in urine and chased so it has a, to a be worse. turtle down the street? Yeah. It yeah. has to be it's worse. worse. Than that. It's worse. Worse than the orphans? Worse than Merrill Wind's moonbeam against the retreating dragonfly? Yeah, I'm yeah. not embarrassed Probably by not that. worse than okay. that. Okay, well, <laughs> Merrill Wind's Merrill Wind not being embarrassed by that. <laughs> <laughs> what I will say is that I, we can go and hear them out, but I have my concerns about what they want to do with that egg. Well, what do you think they want to do with it? Let's see what he has to say. Okay. 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 All right, All we'll, right. Leave, we'll leave it. But before we do that, why don't we each drink a barrel of rum each. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you'd never ask. I vino veritas. <laughs> no, I was yeah, uh, have, good and blasted. Have, have, we, have we ever given Egbert enough alcohol that he becomes drunk? I, we just resupplied <laughs> in town. I think we've got the best chance we've ever had. So let's have a drink to toast the fact that we all uh, solved the Jeremy Hodbuster mystery. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. I only faintly remember that, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Dog, you're you're you eight times larger, so yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna need eight times as much. You'll rum. be tight as a boiled owl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have a drink and see if it loosens Egbert's egg, egg tongue and tongue. All right. Uh, I take a barrel of rum and uh, also grab uh, a big like sort of piece of iron off the side of the ship, and I just want to punch that through the barrel to make a big mug. Okay. Ah. Great. Neat. Don't yeah. pull iron off my ship. It's not. It's not there. It's not ornamental. I drink all the rum. Holding and the I... ship together. I will put it back. Corazon. Really, you, the the glugging noise does sort of continue Smash. after you finish. <laughs> there is now some caulking that needs to be done on the the, uh, the side of the joyful damnation. But yes. Um, Let's I, get caulking. Look who's caulking now. Well, I was going to get you to roll a constitution saving throw to see if you got absolutely blasted, but it seems like you volunteered for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, as yeah, a sort of like as a meta point there. from a DMing perspective, <laughs> um, I like I'm I'm down with let's get Egbert hammered because like narratively this is funny, uh, but also I'm not going to mechanically force Egbert to reveal anything that Egbert doesn't want to reveal. Yeah. So basically, right. what I'm saying here is like uh, basically just... what we're saying here is Dobbs drunk all the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all gone. <laughs> basically, if anyone's drinking. Uh, make me a constitution saving drink? throw, um, or if you if you do want to just get blasted, you can opt to fail it and just end up hammered. All right, um, we've got, like a, yeah, got a, a thimble full to Percy Junior. Oh, oh, is, is he? Is, is he? <laughs> Meryl, I think I know a little something about animals. Uh, it's Didn't do the parrot any harm. He's more than an animal as well. I don't know. <laughs> can I try? Um, can I cast speak with animals? No, don't give Percy, Percy a canonical <laughs> voice. Won't be as get cute. Off my, get off but my pet. This is mine. Percy's going to be a lot less cute if it has a voice. Some of us, other people are allowed animals, Meryl Wynn. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, Meryl Wynn would like to try and probably fail because I don't think he's the right type of beast to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Percy is very capable of speaking at a high level. He's very intelligent. No, his I'm age, just saying, his age, which is, he's like a mystical creature. Like age, which is not. 
Yeah, he's twenty. He's twenty minutes old. So um, don't tell her anything. Please. It would just be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can. You basically there. Are, you cast it, and there are no coherent thoughts even forming. Mm-hmm. All you get is a sense oh. of like attach well attachment and like a lot of attention being paid to Corazon. Oh, he's Love imprinted on like, you. He's quite jealous, like, jealous, but also. Do you want a lobster? I got lobsters. <laughs> I'm great. To, it's great to hear actually because th- these they're getting hungry. They're getting needy. I do. I do. So, you know, <laughs> I just speak with sea. animals. Speak, speak with animals is still is still active. Yeah. You see oh, it. Right. Hungry, <laughs> hungry, <laughs> hungry. Do you want to go back and see? Hungry, this is a little snappy. Yeah, unhand me. Hungry. Okay. Just them out Curse you! <laughs> oh, they grow up so fast. And that's, how, that's what lobsters <laughs> sound like in Gath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so Dobbs absolutely like. Well, Plastered. Hey, yeah. but how, how's the rum treating you? I'll roll and let's see how drunk I get. Okay. What 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 should I roll? Constitution, Constitution saving throw, please. So nineteen oh, plus four. Whoa. Damn. So, so sober. I oh, know plus two. Sorry. Yep. Nice. Sober as a judge. Oh no. Gorazon over the side. Over the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> deck saving throw, please. Corazon. Oh. See if you make it in time. I'm very heavy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna lift him oh, yeah. back up? Yeah. Seventeen. You're going in with him, surely. Yeah, you just you just about get him to the rail. Okay. Oh. Where are we going? What's the plan? Oh, <laughs> we were going to go and meet with Shatter Shield. Yes, I think now is the time. Let's do it while I'm still big. Okay. We're, so we'll have to meet someone with a very high ceiling, I suppose. <laughs> or in a clearing. Yeah, or in a big field. Did you wait, say, wait, wait, did wait. you say to Shatter Shield where we would meet, or when, or I, how to get in touch with him, or? Uh, I did not. But. <laughs> Right? I'm not worried about it. Okay. So I think it's, it's up to us to decide where we want to meet. Uh, Shatter Shield is waiting for our message, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yep. And how are we getting that message to you again? Well, um, Shatter Shield is waiting for it. You still know where he is. Yeah, he's on his. Yeah, Shatter Shield. Shatter Shield's on the ship. He's, he's in, docked in the harbour. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, right. do- in, in port. Fine. But we don't have to meet on the ship. We can send word to the ship. Exactly. Where should we meet? Where's a good neutral space? Well, we need the s- desert <coughs> snipers <laughs> posted. <laughs> the desert, sorry, the desert. Uh, north wheel. <laughs> you want to meet the Arctic tundra? <laughs> we'll meet you thousands of miles south in the desert. <laughs> you did. You you are aware of a location. I'm going to say like there Ooh. there were probably like flyers up for it. Um, like around town, there is um, nearby, just outside of town. Um, there is like a luxury bed and breakfast. Uh, it's actually got like an attached dairy farm, but it also has a big meeting room, which is suitable for like functions and negotiations. You know, oh, it's brilliant! Some, some sort of neutral milk hotel. Uh, <laughs> do they do weddings? I think still in forgetting that my marriage went badly. Yeah, yeah they must do. They must like do. A, a function real estate like that. that. Yeah, they'd be they'd be criminal not to. Yeah. Um, so okay. You to head to this neutral milk. Yes, hotel. I know of a space. Uh, I clocked it because I automatically clock venues that would make be good for weddings. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we could meet there. So, so sad. Yeah, <laughs> which I, I look. We all look quite sympathetically at Dom. <laughs> yeah, I whisper. I whisper a few words to Percy Junior. He <laughs> makes a sort of. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, tell me about it. Anyway, yeah, let's um, let's send words, Merylwen. Send, tell the birds to convey the message. Oh, that's good. It's a shatter shield. A seagull. Tell a seagull. <laughs> yeah, but well, well. Mis- Will Shatter Shield understand the seagull? We will roll it up and we'll put on a little message and we'll tie it to his little leg. I grab grab a seagull out of the sky and I paint (laughs) it. You just grab the message on it. A dex acrobatics check, please. Uh, That's a seven. Um, Okay, uh, yeah, you you miss. Meryl, when you hear like, what are you doing trying to grab me? (laughs) Shut off. Uh, uh, Hey, excuse me. Yeah? What? Could you do us uh, a favour? Has, um, has it stopped moving? Uh, While it's talking? No, it's it's it's, sort of, quite, it's circling, quite, the, the, circling the 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 main circling mustard. in a predictable pattern. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Careful of my friend; he's trying to shoot you. Okay, I'm going to oh, lose. Come on! I'm going to lose the crossbow really Sorry. Um, De- uh, maybe you... a dex attack. Yep. Uh, that's a twenty-two. So <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Um, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a, an impaled gull that's 
Cool. It flops onto the deck. Right. Oh, right. I've now, hang on. I shake a lobster out of my trouser leg. Okay. Back up, animal. Unhand me! <laughs> unhand me! Okay, curse I'll, you! I still I paint the details of the meeting on the dead seagull. Sure. And okay. then I hand it to the lobster to hold. Okay. <laughs> Hungry! Hungry! Don't eat this. What? Merwin, tell the lobster not to eat the seagull. I put a rubber band around its mouth. Put the lobster and the seagull in the cannon and shoot it towards their ship. <laughs> yes, perfect. All right, I load the lobster and the seagull. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Into the cannon. Yeah. Sorry, Merwin, you got to act quicker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got yeah. to get ahead of the... Yeah, he's got put it in a cannon and fire it. On there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, yep. Calculate. So where did you say his ship was? Okay, I, As in I would like to try and reach out to a different seagull. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, um, like, well, that should get him. Make me <laughs> another just a dex, uh, <laughs> dex roll, please. I don't know if you have proficiency in swivel gun. Um, uh, oh, just, you think I, I would, like wouldn't you? To call out to see what they're like. Hey, uh, who wants some? Uh, I've got, I've got some good uh, chippies in my uh, bag. <laughs> Absolutely not. I saw what you just did to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's uh, a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Zut alors. Um, I, I'm sorry, that was not me. The, my friends are not very good with animals. Well, maybe you need to keep better company. I, 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 I ask, you know, I, I say that to myself a lot. I should get one. Show me a dex attack. I'm gonna. It's I'm really bad luck to kill a seabird, isn't it? Isn't yeah. that a sailor thing? Yeah. Yes. I think. Yeah, but it's good luck to kill two. <laughs> it's even numbers, good luck. Yeah. Oh, one for sorrow, <laughs> two for joy, right? Yeah, yeah. 18. 18, right? <laughs> what are you proper about? <laughs> <laughs> that one just lands in the drink. <laughs> Alright, turn oh. into a giant octopus and I swim to the dock to go and talk to Shatterchild myself because okay. every bird I want to talk to gets killed. Um, so, Did yeah, my I'd seagull. Like to... And lobster make it. Uh, what was the roll again? Um, did you make me a dex attack? Dex attack. Yes, I did. I did. It was seventeen, wasn't it? Seventeen. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. The um, the lobster is kind of going <laughs> and it's kind of just hanging down from its claws, which are embedded in the mizzen mast. Oh great. Um, and there is a there is a seagull there. Um, <laughs> Shatter Shield is just standing there going. <laughs> and is that the point at which an octopus swarms up over? Yep. The- <laughs> 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 I don't. I, <laughs> I grab the seagull and I hold it out to him. What do you want, fell beast? No, thank you. I am not hungry. <laughs> I point to the paint on it. Oh. I'm making such a bad first you? impression in this nego- uh, the negotiation. <laughs> They don't know that it's me I, right now. I think yeah. we seem pretty cool and unpredictable. Did you, did you write on it, we demand to be taken seriously? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I open all of the negotiations, <laughs> yeah. Meet us at the Neutral Milk Hotel, no cops. <laughs> Sincerely, Corazon. In my mind, no cops is added in Prudence's hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, when? Now? Can you do a thumbs up with a tentacle? With some folding? You can probably um, like make well, like fingers with yeah. four and then stick I think them. <laughs> we would want it to be like a day so we can make preparations if we need them for a quick getaway or snipers. Or sure, something. does Meryl know that? No one told me that. Well, she just swarmed off as an octopus, whereas we were all trying to plan properly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't. Well, this is we're having this conversation on the deck, so I don't know what she's telling them. <laughs> whatever Marowen reckons, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I, look, I go. One word. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I take second way. Whole thing. <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> and I come back to the snake <laughs> <laughs> on the deck to all of you. What's Marowen saying? One Word. syllable. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Watch. That's I'm getting Christmas. What does it sound like? <laughs> No, 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 we'll make a charisma performance check. The rest of you make a wisdom insight check. Okay. Eight minus one is seven. Okay. <laughs> Six. Nine. Really Seventeen. Mad. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay. <laughs> How did my wisdom roll beat your Meryl, charisma performance roll? <laughs> I think Merlwen wants to know what time we should tell the the dragon door that we want to meet them. Ah, that's what that is. Okay. Or she's saying we need to hurry. Or, <laughs> And go now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say with the, 20, oh. with the 23, even with the, the awful performance <laughs> from the giant octopus. Yeah, you can you can intuit uh, what's going on. So what time shall... What well, time? Let's, say, let's say tomorrow. We'll head there now. And All then right. we can get set up. High noon tomorrow. Love it. High noon. Sounds good. High noon okay. tomorrow. Mm. All right, so I swim back. 
Oh, we should have asked <laughs> about dietary requirements. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, I shoot another ones. bird out of the sky and write high noon on it. Okay. Just sure. the, load it in the cabinet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this one I think is... That's a pretty um, powerful message. I'll tell you what. One to two, it's another seagull. Three to four, it's an albatross. Oh, no. Five to six, pelican. it's a pelican. Oh, no, no. It's a pelican. Oh! Yeah. All right. Now you've got an odd number of seabirds. <laughs> no albatrosses, though. Seabirds, so. So albatrosses are the bad luck one. Fine. You are on an odd number now, though. No, wait. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, mm. anyway, Corazon yeah. has canonically bad luck until he offs a seabird. <laughs> yeah. I offer another seabird <laughs> to even it up. Okay, sure. Uh, so you've written high noon on a pelican. <laughs> yeah, I put it on, on the it. wattle. Yeah. I put it on its bill. That's not a joke. I just wrote it on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not joking, Johnny. Yeah. Serious. Sorry, this is serious. <laughs> right. serious Seafowl murder is a very serious business. Yeah, sure, serious you write high noon on, on the, the pelican. Would you like to deliver this pelican? I put it in the swivel gun if you want. Well, I've already left at this Oh, okay, point. right. Okay, it's in the swivel it gun. In the swivel Make gun. another dex roll. Uh, <laughs> that's a uh, six. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, you miss. It flies over the deck and you hit a... <laughs> Albatross. <laughs> no! You, you spear an albatross with a pelican. Oh, no. So, yeah. like, it's, You're it's, on again. It's almost like a horrifying heraldic crest. For a minute, there's this <laughs> albatross with its majestic wings. And then sort of just like... <laughs> like there's sort of a, the beady eye of a, of a pelican here and then emerging from its ribcage. It's just a long bit. Of wow. Everyone see that? How yeah, can so it be bad luck when the chances of that were so low? Percy. Like, um, no, Percy's loving it. <laughs> Okay. Is, is Percy loving it? Um, yeah, he's like from the, the the like very noisy like snuffling and like inhalation noises you get. You think he loves the smell of gunpowder, <laughs> which <laughs> is probably boy. what you smell like. To be yeah, honest. that's my boy. Um, you make it onto the ship, mm -hmm. presumably. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Shield is still standing there, just being like. <laughs> so what I would like to do is I would just like to dip my tentacle, one tentacle in the water, mm -hmm. and write "I noon tomorrow" on the deck. Oh. I noon tomorrow. You've got ink. Very good. Oh yeah. I don't. I can't really control it. <laughs> oh, right, okay. And I don't want to like stain the decking. <laughs> and you can write in what and it'll dry off. It'll okay. evaporate. Right. High noon tomorrow. It is. Great. Okay. The the meeting is set for high noon tomorrow. High noon uh, in Geth, of course, is uh, the point where the first sun has already hit noon <laughs> and. We're halfway between the average of the suns. And the, it's, yes, it's the exact average <laughs> of the suns. Okay. Got like it's a pair of point where the second sun leapfrogs the first sun. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. It's, it's famously bad for dueling because, like, both of you have the sun in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> or famously fair. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, all right, let's make our way to this new duel milk hotel. Yeah. Yes. No, no dueling. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to travel overland, I assume. Whereabouts yeah. is the hotel? It's just in the town. We... No, it's 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 like a couple of miles outside because they Ooh. need pasture land, obviously. Of course, I get yeah. that. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, well, yes, I suggest we. All right. I suggest we head there. Disembark. Disembark, mm -hmm. and then head there via conveyance. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Uh, hop on my back. Oh um, yeah, you're enormous. I'm big. You know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like Godzilla size. Yeah. The metric we all understand. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's all hop on dog. I'm probably yeah. I can probably sort of piggyback. Yeah. Is yeah. Meryl back with us or is she, what are you doing? Well, yeah, I'm back. You're all on the back. And then I, as sort of like a giant octopus papoose, uh, <laughs> wrap myself around all of you to keep you oh. in place. So oh, you I don't, don't like it. <laughs> where's, the, where's the egg box? We're leaving the egg box on the ship. Good question. We Great should not question. bring the eggs to this negotiation. <laughs> no. no. But should, we, should we leave I mean, someone I can behind guard to guard the, them? I can guard the eggs if needs be. I wouldn't like to leave them unguarded because what yeah. if someone just came across the ship? I do feel like we've played it pretty far too loose oh, 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 oh. with egg security have any so yet. far. And actually that, actually, that sounds pretty good to take to a negotiation, doesn't it? Like the eggs aren't here. They're, They're with our intermediary safe. octopus. Yeah. She's got them safe. And if she doesn't hear from us in She's one hour, one she'll egg. eat every egg. <laughs> <laughs> one egg an hour. <laughs> or take them somewhere else. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, or that is better. Like that. Okay, great. I like that. I like that. Is there any way we can... What's the range on message? 120 feet. Ah. Mm. All right, Did Meryl you never Wayne. learn semaphore? Me? Look, I can tell you 
A pirate that's birds. Pirate, so that's yes, for the that's merchant true. navy who I right, spend fine. my time plundering. All right, fine. Meryl Wind can send birds. It's one-way communication, but it's better than nothing. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you could send okay. a bird and say to, to get a message. You know? <laughs> yeah, but in Coruscant will probably kill it. So. I yeah. promise not to kill any <laughs> birds that have writing on them. Okay. How's that? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> An uneasy truce. <laughs> <laughs> also, there, like the birds of uh, the harbour, are now keeping their distance. Mm-hmm. Makes suffice sense. to say, makes sense. A butterfly, Gandalf. It. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, there are ways yeah, and yeah. means. There are ways. Okay. And means. Yeah. Like frost moths, you are in the frozen north. Mm-hmm. Okay. Full steam ahead. Dog. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dog kind of like long um, striders his way through. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sorry. No, he's fine. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying it. Yeah, through like a you know through like a snowdrift on the way out. You see, you see the the, the, the luxury hotel um, and sort of the pasture land. Uh, obviously, this is you know a, a cold, cold part of Geth. So they're all kind of like those lovely shaggy longhorns mm. with like the really big pink noses. Mm. That you just want to like, oh. mm. and they're you know, mm. um, and they're all just just there. All right. Well, what time is it? Have we arrived at noon or a little before? Oh, before. Yeah. Well before. <coughs> Wasn't it yeah, we were tomorrow? arriving the day. Yeah. It's yeah. happening tomorrow. So you can oh, just... right. Yeah. yeah, but it's a hotel. You can check it. Yeah. Oh, we're cool. going to check in and I would like to book the meeting room for tomorrow. <laughs> the conference room. Yeah, I'd like to book the, your conference room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, you meet the owner and proprietor of, uh, of the Neutral Milk Hotel, who is called... Dairy Steve. Dairy Steve. There we go. <laughs> um... <laughs> there is nominative Steve. determinism at work. There. Yeah, there we go. Goes, Hello and welcome to my neutral milk hotel. My name is Dairy Steve. Will you be staying for a night or possibly longer? Do you need to make use of any our faci- of, our, of our facilities? Can I offer you anything to eat or drink? Continental breakfast is provided as part of your stay. This man does not seem to need air. He just has sort of like incredible lung capacity. And wow. Like Maybe. quite a nasal voice that's a little bit grating on some people, but a lot of people find it to be like genuinely like genre defining. <laughs> um, um, yes, uh, we would like rooms for the night. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll leave would... this to you three. I'm too big. So okay. I'll, I'm just going to say. Do you have outside. like a uh, barn area that could fit some livestock in it? Like a large live thing, livestock thing. I'm talking about the size of a sort of. He's talking about me. <laughs> yeah, we've got a large friend yeah. with us. I... Oh, sure. I mean, yes, this is also a dairy farm, so we're very used to keeping large creatures. So if you don't mind bedding down with some of our cattle, they are tremendously warm in the cold period. So actually, it's kind of comfortable. Some people request it genuinely. So you'd be more than welcome to do that, to be honest with you. I'd love to. Absolutely. That's totally Dob's bag. Yeah, I'll sleep with the cows. Yes, please. Okay. Um, yeah, and we'll have some regular rooms. Uh, we'd also like to book your, co- your conference room for tomorrow. Okay, and will that be for a, a wedding or is there some kind of uh, negotiation? Definitely not a wedding. They'll charge us like eight times as much. Yeah, we'll just it's just for a meeting. You might want to keep your options open, but okay. <laughs> okay. You, might, you might want to <laughs> get you married. Know what's to you might want to get this married. This Dairy tomorrow. Steve is right. a successful yeah. businessman. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's say a meeting. Yeah, a meeting. Also, I would like a large glass of cold milk. Please. All right, I like will rustle that up just now. Hold on, I will just summon uh, one of our staff members here. He rings a bell and uh, he goes, uh, uh, like a, a child sort of like totters out. Um, a child with like uh, two arms and two legs and then like a like a, a cranium here and like a cranium here. Whoa. He says, do not be alarmed. That is just Dairy Steve Jr. He is my two-headed boy. <laughs> cool. Nice to meet you, Dairy Steve Jr. I would like uh, some milk. I've heard it's good here. Okay, mister. Which head? Which speaks? head? Speaks? Both in unison. Both in unison. Oh. Which head is it polite to look at? Or do you just choose one and stick Either. it? Either. Do I move back and forth? Uh, yeah. They, they Basically, seem... I'm trying to find out if this is a Lon Lon Ranch situation and if I'll get like a health boost from drinking the milk. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah all right. They, they, they're like, uh... A Dairy Steve Jr. has like a like a backpack on, which is like one of those nice metal canisters. Oh, nice! And it's like it's you know when you've got like that sort of cold condensation on the outside, mm. it's like really nice chilled milk. Help yourself, sir! And then they turn around. There's a little tap on it, and there's like uh, little glass mugs, kind of like hanging off on hooks. Great. Yeah. I mean, I've got a I've got a, a flagon hooked to my belt at oh, all okay. times anyway, so I'll yeah, just yeah. fill my own flagon. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, you can, you can have a little health boost. You nice. can you can lom on this ranch. Oh, sweet. All right, how many? 
I mean, what sort of health boost did you have in mind? Are we talking just like healing? Just a few hit points. Do you want to be big? Do you want extra hit points? Sure. I want a couple of extra hit points. Of course, yeah, you get... for, a, for a small amount of time. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Or forever. Okay. You can have 10 extra hit points for yes. a small amount of time. That's pretty good. That's, I think that's probably why this has become such a, a popular place to have negotiations. Because even if negotiations go bad, <laughs> everyone can just... It's like a nuclear deterrent. Yeah, everyone's, super, super, yeah. everyone's super tanky. <laughs> yeah, after exactly, yeah. Milk. Everyone comes in, drinks a gallon of milk, and it's like, okay, we've got a big buffer to work through before any before this gets serious. <laughs> mm-hmm. And anyone starts taking harm. I tip uh, um, Dairy Steve Jr. a silver piece. Thanks very much. Great. Uh, okay, let's go and scope out this. Can we go and have a look at the meeting room just so we're ready for tomorrow's meeting? Absolutely you can. Why did you say meeting in inverted hand commas? Because it's a wedding <laughs> we're trying to stay. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a flat fee for a wedding and a... Oh yeah, I negotiation. bet. I yeah, bet. Sure. I'm in the bar. It's the extras, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, the extras. The flowers, the flowers, eh? Yeah, the flowers. It's just a flat fee. We don't do flowers. It's awfully cold up here. Can't be bothered growing them. Fair enough. The only ones we can get are the ones that sprout off carrots. I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done now. Sorry. All right, let's go and check out the room. Okay. Yeah. The the room is kind of um, it's kind of like a big oval shape, and it's almost like a like a council chamber. Really, you've got like there's a central space in the middle, and then there's lots of like sort of high um, benches. So everyone's got like a you know like if you sit in the you know in the row, you've got a chair. But you've also got like a little thing you can put like thing on, take notes. Um, it is it is designed to be just a neutral space where no seat has prominence, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so how do we want to run this negotiation? Um, Egbert, how, how are you feeling about A, I, being in the same room as Shattershield, B, talking to Shattershield, etc.? I think it's about time we talked, um, but I'd be interested to hear what he has to say. Okay, do you want to be, do you want it to just be you in the room? And no, we no, can we should hide all ourselves? be there. Should we have anyone... Like secreted around with a crossbow. <laughs> if you want to hide, you can hide. Shatter- <laughs> Shattershield's pretty smart, though, right? If we like the negotiations, you want could, to sell the negotiation? Yeah, it could stall at the first. I think we should go dealing. in good faith. We've already got uh, a backup in the form of yeah. Carol when with, with the eggs. I think yeah. we play it straight. Yeah, play all it right, straight. we've got all the leverage. I say, sounds good, and while hiding various daggers around the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make me a dex stealth check, please. I am good. Uh, Dirty twenty, nice. Hidden twenty dirty daggers. Around the room. <laughs> no, you hide a good, you hide a good quantity of daggers around the room very well. This may come up later. Are there any other preparations? Um, Dub, you're you're currently in you're in the barn. I'm in the barn and I'm big, but by tomorrow at noon I'll be normal size again, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, although I don't know if Dob knows that. I'm just in the barn. Yeah, no, you do I'm know that. In, oh, Nuzz- cool. oh yeah, yeah, in. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just in the barn. I Cuddling think. the cow. Yeah, there's yeah. a cow kind of like nuzzling in. Yeah, I, I guess what I, the only thing I'd like to do is just um, uh, is there anyone? Does anyone kind of come out to maintain the cows, feed them, or you know anything like that? Yeah, they'll be like you know they'll be farmhands. Go cool. Uh, I'd like to strike up a chill conversation with a farmhand and just casually ask if um, if any uh, religious orders of Dragonborn have been by yet because I want to suss out if they are also getting here early. Like, they might have the same plan that we okay. do, basically. Um, no, well, well, no, what do you say, actually? Hello. <laughs> hey, these, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, these. Um, these cows are some of the best I've seen all year. What's your secret? Oh, well, they're just really great cows that we take really great care of. <laughs> and we've had them for generations, so we um, make sure that they're um, very carefully bred mm. so they don't have any young. Um, Problems. And, um, I can tell they're, they're so well looked after. Look, the, the glossy coat on this one's incredible. Used to uh, be in the dairy game myself, but really? I had to uh, get out of it because uh, my cows kept losing their tempers at one of my colleagues. Right. Uh, he was a dragonborn, the, oh. and the cows aren't so well. Bless them, we love them, don't we? But yes. uh, <laughs> they're not so bright, and uh, you know they used to panic that it was a real dragon. Or well, of free fire and cook them. Yes, like. that is an ex- uh, instinctual memory, because of course dragons, you know, they will prey on livestock. Exactly. And, uh, so who can blame them? But don't you worry, Bessie. I had not seen any dragonborn around here, uh, and you haven't either. I guess that one is not called Bessie. Oh, so I'm sorry, Bessie. Um, I intuit his name. 
Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a wisdom insight check. Four. <laughs> ah. Brunhilda. <laughs> Brunhilda. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything else I specifically to requested to stay in the barn tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, you're but staying all, in the barn. But it's all above board yeah. and all perfectly fine. All these windows will be shuttered, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do, have you seen any Dragonborn? I'm just worried about Hilda here. Bruni. Bruni. Bruni Scrumptious. <laughs> he doesn't challenge you on the names of this place. It's like, uh, <laughs> well, if uh, I... If I uh, Remember correctly, you carried one in on your hulking great shoulders earlier. Mm, yeah, I, you know what? I, I've stopped thinking of. So that. yes, I've seen one. Yes. All right, but well, don't worry because that's the one that used to uh, uh, scare my cows right. when I was back in the dairy game. You keep your former employees with you at all times. I had to get rid of the cow. I couldn't get rid of them. Oh, they were important to my new venture. What's your new venture? Ox. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm out of the cow game. Now it's ox. I mean, it's an ox venture. I don't understand, but I wish you well in your journey. And you as well. Now leave me and Brunhilde <laughs> to our business. Okay, I'll be back to check. All right. You can have inspiration for that. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So what was the information you were trying to gather from that? Uh, they are not here yet. <laughs> it's whether, yeah, it's whether they're here. Got it. Are there any other preparations that we want to make before before bedding down and the day yeah. tomorrow? Did you have to love on that cow so realistically? I think we should prepare some riding cows in you. case we need an exit strategy and have to get out in a hurry. Okay, so, sure. Like, uh, yeah. Horse, we could get some horses. Riding cows. For riding. <laughs> <laughs> that might be what prudence means by riding cows. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the no fast dogs. Yeah, cows. Cows. <laughs> they don't have horns. The big, the big fast dogs. And they've got long legs. Yeah. yeah. The fast, yeah. stiff dogs. The fast yeah. riding cows. Can we, are there any horses on this, on this ranch? Uh, there must be. Yes. How are you going to herd the yeah. cows? Exactly, yeah, yeah. For, for herding, yeah. Okay. I'm literally okay. communing with the cows. We're going to have a... We're going to have cows. We're going to don't ever say literally, literally <laughs> communing with them again. Mm-hmm. I just want to know if we need to get out of here yep. in a hurry, there'll be something to ride on to freedom. Let's, I would like to, yeah, locate the stables mm-hmm. and sort of scope out the horses and, mm-hmm. like, how, if we were to make a run for it, how we would, like, get onto horses and things like that. I see. Um, sure. Are you are you just kind of going as if you're having a mosey around the place? Yeah, just, we're just exploring the grounds, taking okay. a look. Yeah, that's fine. You can yeah, you can all take a turn around the grounds. Okay. The the stables are like as you would expect. Really, there are like half a dozen horses. Ah, these are fine riding cows. <laughs> they say <laughs> the tack and tack and you know like bridles and mm-hmm. saddles and stuff are all bare. Um, they kind of yeah, they cool. look at you like Pfft. all right, you know, horse stuff. Great. Sorry, riding cow stuff. <laughs> okay, and um, how are things back on the boat with Merylwen currently? Oh, of course. Let's see. All's quiet. What are you oh. doing, Merylwen? I'm just chilling. I'm just like I'm. I'm sitting like with the eggs. An egg in each tentacle. <laughs> contact juggling with the eggs. <laughs> David Bowie in Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to allow this. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, they like it. Back. Are you um, keeping an eye on the other ship at all? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm like climbing up the mast, having a little peer around, um, mm. and uh, just just keeping an eye on things sure. and just making sure that you know the eggs are comfy and you know everything everything is safe. Just, all just, right. Just four um, o'clock and all is well. <laughs> yeah, there are some there are some folk um, mm. there are some folks sort of toing and froing on the deck of. Um, on the deck of the the Dragon Doors mm-hmm. ship, um, it seems like they're sort of preparing to make a journey, as you mm-hmm. might expect. Sort of like lining up packs along the rail. Mm-hmm. Um, there are, I'm gonna say, four packs get lined up on the rail, mm-hmm. um, but they don't seem to be heading off anytime soon. Okay. Um, in fact, it's been an hour since those packs were there. They've since gone below decks uh-huh. and. Not much seems to be going on. Actually. Okay, well, I uh, I'd like to um, speak with animals mm-hmm. to a seagull or any <laughs> any bird that is brave enough to be nearby, um, and try and try and 
get their attention. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, the only birds that have ventured close enough are um, the famous sea vultures of Geth. Great. Um, basically, they're just sort of like, if you just imagine a vulture, but with like Wet. webbed feet. <laughs> Aww. With what? With what? Wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, imagine a wet vulture but with, with wet feet. Um, oh, it has wow. the exact same... You know, like when you get those ducks that have like a really yellow bill and they're just completely white? Mm -hmm. That, but it's a it's a bill that's meant for like rending and tearing. Yeah. So there's one currently just like, like sort of just tearing chunks out of the combined corpse of a pelican yeah. and an albatross. Yeah. Um, um, excuse me? Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I ask a favor? Depends on the favor. Uh, could you could you take this? Up? So I've got a little. I'm, I'm back in elf form, oh. and I've I've written a. Uh, um, yeah, I do it in front of them. Who <laughs> there? <laughs> hi, hi, Doric, Doric. Hi, hi. <laughs> I am so in love with this person. So with this culture, right? Um, I've got this note. Um, could could I uh, attach it to you so that you can keep your beak free, obviously, to <laughs> snack on the way? Um, and if you could take this to, to the, the, the the milk hotel up the way, the, the it's like two miles that way with oh, all the cows. Yeah. Could you take that? And the, the, there's uh, there's probably going to be uh, corpses. Probably eventually, <laughs> I'd oh. imagine. Um, but um, if you could take this, <laughs> so intense right now. I love it. All right, um, and give it to. I'd say that there'll be a red lady with horns. Um, and take it, take dead? it to her. No, 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 not not dead, but she she smells nice and brimstoney. Nah. Yeah, she'll probably she'll blast something for you. I'm sure she'll cook something up. Um, if you could take this, just you know, and take it to her, just just pass a little message on. Corpses over there, maybe, probably, maybe. But if you know, I'll keep these ones keep free. This. I'll keep, keep this. Keep these for you. <laughs> it just grabs the whole thing and <laughs> lumps yeah. it onto the deck. Below deck. Okay, I will store this for you in, in a in a barrel below deck. Okay. It like flaps its wings and flaps onto the onto the deck, and it's like, <laughs> like sort of hunting, it's like oh, catch the message. Thank you very much. I tie yeah. it gently but firmly to its yeah. leg. Is that all right? Give it a shake. Yeah, that's that's good. Just like, Thank you so much. The covenant is made. <laughs> Flies off. Oh, great. The Covenant of Vultures. Really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Smash cut two. Um, you are in the, uh, the you're still in the sort of meeting room. Um, Corazon has just finished hiding daggers about the place. Are either of you making any special prep? Just no, I'm in the hotel room. There. I've got a robe on. Oh, okay, <laughs> great. Um, I'm great. stealing toiletries uh -huh. from the hotel room. Perfect. Yeah. The chairs spin around in the meeting room. Yeah. Uh, uh, only like 180 degrees. All right, well, I'm just going back and forth in one of the chairs. Okay, cool. I'm going to head to the milk, milk spa. It started making an, an alarming creaking noise about 20 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, right, yes, okay, you're you're in the milk spa. Um, just enjoying your milk bath. Yep. The milk face mask. Mm hmm Cool. I have my crossbow in case any, any seabirds come like <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, Prudence, there is a tapping at your window. And by a tapping, I mean like there's like a... <laughs> Yeet, all right, I go draw the curtain. <laughs> it is some sort of enormous, like, white vulture Whoa. with a, uh, an alarmingly yellow bill Whoa. and sort of just, like, a lot of blood on its, its neck. Oh, hello, so it's friend. Been, as if it's been digging around <laughs> the chest cavity or something. All right, I open the window. Ah! All right, all right, I'm opening the window. I open the window. What it's do you want? Sort of... What's up? Has a good look around the room. Yeah. And is like disappointed not to see any corpses. Yeah, of course. And just sort of thrusts a webbed foot at you. There's a scroll attached to it. What does it say? I take it and I read it. Uh, it says uh, there are four packs. They've not left yet. Seems they're moving in the morning. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I noted. All right. I, um, I intuit that this vulture wants something to eat and feeds on corpses. Mm -hmm. And I look out of the window and blast the first cow I can see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make, make me that yeah. roll. Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That was four. Wait, no. Eldritch is the Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Okay, 12. Okay. Are you one prong or two? Both. 
Okay, so, um, yeah. Second, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, second chance. All right, okay, and that one's uh, 25. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hamburger meat. Yeah. yeah, you can, this comes off however you want it to. I will okay. just tell you for free, the cow is dead. Are yeah. we talking like, are you exploding it? It's you very just... far away. I'm using yeah. the um, extended range, you know, the kind of sp- Eldritch, Eldritch snipe. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and uh, yeah, it just sort of like, um, like self barbecues, kind of immolates from the inside. <laughs> A little kind of torch on the horizon. And I'm like, over there. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, yeah, as this eldritch energy sort of starts to crackle around the cow, it sort of like it starts shaking and it starts to levitate and then just Ooh. slowly rotates <laughs> really nice and evenly. <laughs> and the vulture like looks at you mm. and like I guess like would prudence know whether or not birds can cry? Because it looks like this one is trying not to. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, so just like gives like a like uh, and then like swoops it's, off towards it. I was going to say, is that because of the crossbow bolt stuck in his back from me walking back to my room? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm still in the spa, and yeah, per- Percy Junior is next to me with also a little little milk face mask on. Right. Oh. Well, there goes my favourite animal that I've ever met. <laughs> uh, that was nice. Yeah, it's, you can just see it kind of it rests on it rests on the. On the carcass, and you you hear a, a far off shriek of triumph mm. uh, as it starts to tear into the body. Good. Uh, but you got to win. Tight eight hours of sleep, I think probably. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I can. Okay. We've got adjoining rooms, and I can hear <laughs> Egbert snores. snoring in the yeah. in the next next sure room. <laughs> the ceiling would just be a big. Like scorched. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah. No, they wouldn't have seen that coming. No, that's fine. No, it's silly, silly of them to whitewash the ceiling. To be yeah. perfectly honest with you. Fair um, okay, well, if if there's no like other business in the course of the evening, I pass on the message about there being four packs on deck, but no movement yet. So sure. it doesn't look like we're you know they're being underhanded with us. Yeah, the, there's a very yeah there's a very nice brasserie actually in the in the, the hotel where you 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 can all sort of have dinner together. Um, the fare is quite good. Um, yeah. What was uh, in the packs? Did what did everyone say? Oh, just just packs. Didn't didn't. Find well, out what was it well like. it would probably be you know I think Marilyn probably traveling. Would imagine, like traveling packs. Yes, you know, but they could have been or... They could have been subterfuge equipment. Like the like well, the hidden daggers you placed the... all the way around. Yeah. The... <laughs> well, if I we're doing relate. it, they might be. I can't true. relate. Why? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, so everyone catches up over mm-hmm. over dinner at the brasserie. Um, Derry Steve uh, wishes everyone uh, a good night's rest and hopes that. Um, they feel fine. And uh, does anyone know what happened to the cow outside <laughs> that seems to be being devoured by an enormous bird? I'll ask Brunhilde. Spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous cow yeah. combustion. Yeah. They're full of methane, those things, you know. Mm. They go, go up. Like Boy, do I ever happen. know it. So yeah. often I go out there and there's just loads of uh, loads of cow farts everywhere. <laughs> he just does another long sentence without pausing. For <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right, everyone get some rest because tomorrow we kill Shattershield. <laughs> so crash zoom on me. <laughs> <laughs> So you pass the night here at the Neutral Milk Hotel, and uh, in the morning, um, dawn is is heralded not with the the not with cock crow, but with again another victorious shriek of a, <laughs> a massive vulture that's just devouring an entire cow. Wow, um, my guy, uh, so <laughs> it's a nice cow. All of you awake, feeling very well rested. Corazon, obviously, you feel incredibly well moisturised. Um, you had to get up a couple of times in the night because uh, Percy Junior was scrabbling at the door. Yeah, kind he's of wanted... let out. Yeah, well, let him raise free range. I let him roam free. Just what he wants. Okay, and he comes back to me. Yeah, that Griffin is best friend. He, br- <laughs> uh, he greets you in the morning with a mouse. Aww, <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> I'll save this for later. Um, um. He immediately curls up and goes to sleep. Yeah, throw it uh, Dob, you wake up. Um, smaller than you were, but still bigger than you are normally. Oh, right, okay. And your head hurts quite a lot. Uh, How are his dimensions? Proportionate? <laughs> Is his width reducing at the same size as his height? Yeah. Slender man. Oh, no. Slend, slend, I don't slender know. Dob. Slender Dob. I'm not into it. No. No, thanks. No, you're, you're proportional. Also, it has to be proportional, or my clothes aren't going to. Shrink and rest. I think it's pretty important. Wait, did we establish that your clothes grew? Um, your, your head could still be four times as big as normal. That's true. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, you're, yeah. In, you're in big head mode. Okay. <laughs> we activated the big, big head mode. Cheap. 
which means probably that I've got like the mother of all headaches. Oh, <laughs> yesterday I drank a barrel of rum and had an owl pellet. Yeah. <laughs> so this morning I'd like to just sort of keep my way out of the barn. I've sort of fashioned some shades for my big hair. Yeah, very good. And yeah. I've got a um, I've got a steaming latte courtesy of Brunhilde. <laughs> oh really? Quite great. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh. Yeah, the the sun is kind of unfortunately lancing off the snow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you've got to make it to this meeting. Like yeah. the sun's already up. Corazon infuriating um, me is an extremely morning person, and I run across oh, and I no. clap. No, that's clap the worst thing you've ever bed. done. Hey, Dom, who's ready for the meeting? Am I right? We're going to meet Shadow Shield. Oh. It's going to be great. Drink up, buddy. Yeah. What time is it? How long do we have? We've got a uh, minute and a half. <laughs> so. All oh, right. Okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, 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 I'm there. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. And um, early to wait. High noon is early morning, and it's in a minute. It's early morning for him. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. he only just woke up. Yeah, he just woke yeah. up. Uh, all right, let's uh, head to the meeting. Yeah, it's not. It's not really long until the meeting. You actually can see Marilyn. You you saw earlier that um, uh, Shatter Shield, accompanied by three others, um, all set off um, mm-hmm. from the ship and have, have headed out. There are still some some paladins on the ship, kind of keeping it all in order. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, they they have as expected departed uh, mm-hmm. during the night. They all was quiet for on their ship and indeed yours. There seems to have been uh, no foul play from them. Um, plenty of foul play. Yeah. I've just nation, been like I've, I've uh, been collecting all of the, the carcasses and putting them in one chest underneath, like what, in, in a barrel. Um, in a barrel. <laughs> on Coruscant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I've been I've been having the best time. I put like a hammock in the middle of uh, Coruscant's, like mm. the captain's room, and oh, just no. been like. Uh, how did you do that when I locked it on the way out? <laughs> I did stone shape and made a key the right size. A stone key? No, it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Opposed roll to see whether. Literally, whoops. Stone shape. No, yeah. I, I installed uh, <laughs> flashback. I installed a special lock uh, that doesn't uh, work. Wrong, wrong game, game, baby. baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, I did it. So. Meryl Wen has a hammock set up in the captain's quarters. Yeah, it's fine. By and you've also ruling. got dead bird meat barrel. Yeah. Which is nice. Um, I'm going to have to leave the meeting. I'm going to go back to the ship. Why? Because she's effing up my captain's How do you know, you that? know that? I've got a sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too bad. This is important. Yeah. Corazon, if I can be at this meeting right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Dob. Look at Dob. How much right. pain Look at the he's made. Look, Look how anyway. dehydrated he is. <laughs> anyway, prudence. There I've got something. Yeah. Wordlessly places a glass of orange juice in front of him. Just goes. Mm-hmm. Prudence, I've got something to deal with these paladins. What's that? So you know how... Um, so no good faith negotiations then? Well, no, I'm just saying as a, as okay. a backup. Right. You know how for like evil stuff, you, yeah. you put holy water on them. Yeah. Well, I've got some unholy water. Oh. Where'd you get that? I just I made the it. Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to know. Okay. I don't want to know. So if things start to go south. Okay. You're going to toss you're gonna throw throw some water on, on people. Throw some unholy the water on them and see how they All like right, that. All right, Corazon. I don't know that unholy water is a thing. Um, I feel like I'd have heard if of If holy it. water is a thing, then unholy water must be a thing. Right, well, well, that's just regular water. <laughs> no, that's neutral water. <laughs> neutral water yeah. hotel. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Dairy Steve comes in and says that. Uh, Good morning, everyone. Uh, I trust you slept very well. <laughs> I would like to remind you that this is a neutral meeting space, so I'm going to need you to surrender all of your weapons to me right now and promise you won't do any magics. Not a, not a problem, Steve. Honest. I say, here are all of my daggers. <laughs> okay, you said that with a slightly weird inflection. <laughs> it makes me believe that perhaps the, those weren't all of your daggers. Do you have any other daggers on you or perhaps secreted around the room? Because really, you've just made me quite suspicious, no. if I'm honest. I said that was all of my daggers. I also have this cutlass, which you may have. Oh, I see. I misunderstood you when you said these are all of my daggers. Yeah. You meant to, to lead on to saying, here is and my, here cutlass, is my I cutlass, I understand. Would you like to do anything with the braces of pistols I see hanging off of your chest, or are those going to stay on? Because really, I think those count as weapons, and you should surrender, but this is a neutral meeting space. What if I were to unload them? 
I'm afraid that well, <laughs> <two> technically, <laughs> <laughs> two technically you could do that, but I, I believe that this is going to be quite a tense negotiation. So I would advise against it because they're probably going to think that they are loaded, and in All any right, case, even fine. having unloaded weapons is a bad show. There's in the, the case brace like of this. pistols. Right, thank you so there much. Very you can have, have my light crossbow that I never use. All right, you seem to have some uh, sort of bauble dagger there as well. Yeah, I there's think. a the dagger <laughs> that I haven't used yet. That's mint condition. You could look after that for me. Okay, perfect. Wow, this thing looks weird. All right, uh, and, and uh, it seems like you have a giant honk. Mace and a shield. Could I have both of those, please? Yes, but be very careful which end of the mace you touch. I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same applies. It's a blunt weapon. <laughs> but same there applies are, to my cutlass. Yeah, that goes for all of our weapons. <laughs> Don't touch FYI. the deadly end of it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I will be sure to be uh, very careful with the deadly end of your mace. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and would you like any to, to turn over any of your weapons, please? Uh, yeah. Not that I really think you're in a fit state to use any of them, if you'll pardon my... Yeah, energy. I'm sorry I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I didn't... Um, uh, Steve? Steve? Yeah, uh, Derry, Steve. That's Steve. all right. We've all been in the same situation, let's face it. Who in their time hasn't had an owl pellet and a barrel of rum or two? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, dagger, rapier, musical instruments. All right, great. Well, He's a magic. Got he, it. You get it. <laughs> he is like, All right, I will put these in a safe storage for you. Um, we have already taken the weapons off uh, the people who are coming to meet you today. So if uh, if everything's cool with you, I'm just going to let them in. Sound good? Yes. Go ahead, Derry Steve. It. All right. Okay, he goes. Uh, he, he leaves the room, accidentally kicks a bin over, throws the garbage all across the floor, and ah. um, in walks Shattered Shield with three other paladins. Clonk, 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 heavy armor, paladins, stomp, 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 stomp. Um, uh, the Shatter Shield sort of sounds and goes. I ring the meeting bell. <laughs> I ring the meeting gong. <laughs> I set off the meeting firework display. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Shatter Shield. Uh, I take a back the, seat to negotiate. <laughs> Shatter Shield blows the meeting through the <laughs> Good afternoon, uh, almost everybody. I see one of your party is not here. Yeah. Yeah. We've got them guarding the eggs. And guarding the eggs, we thought it prudent to leave them not here. I understand. That mm. is fair. And these are dangerous times. Did you see that bird outside? That yeah. thing looks scary. Yeah, that cow exploded. What? There Spontaneously. Was a, there was an exploded <laughs> cow out there. Well, are you entirely you sure we'll be safe here? We've just surrendered all of our weapons. It's a neutral <laughs> hotel. Neutral. It's a neutral milk hotel. Neutral. Yes, for us, surely. But perhaps there is a third party who might... This might neutral. be an ambush. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, good. Dom's like, can we wrap these yeah. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps we can. Um, perhaps yes. we can get started. I think we can. You spoke to Dob about your intentions for the egg. And yes. Dob, soft touch that he is, seemed to think that you maybe wouldn't do awful things with it. Well, no, we wouldn't do awful things with it. As you know, we are uh, an order dedicated to the, the restoration of, of golden dragons in the realm. What better thing to do with an egg than to ensure their continued survival? I Look, believe that we are. Shatter Shield, come on. You know why I'm here, and you know what I did, and what I was trying to do. Mm. What, what, show me how you've changed. Prove it to me. Straight to the point, I see. Fine. Yeah, well, he's got a stonking hangover and he needs to get back to bed soon. This is, this, I don't know, this is sobering me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Um, <laughs> you got like, whoa! <laughs> and you shrink half a foot. Oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> does he do that often? Half your foot shrinks. <laughs> <laughs> your head hurts. He's had a big night. Mm. I see. Neutral. That's fine. He takes it, he, he sort of eyes you suspiciously and drinks two pints of milk. <laughs> <laughs> so I also tanky. drink milk to match him. Okay. Every time he drinks, I'm drinking. <laughs> this becomes a very weird, yeah. tense uh, conversation. Uh, uh, <laughs> like automated uh, puppets. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look in a cobbler's window. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, look, but yes, I do know why you're here. And I do know what you did and why you did it. But I also know that you believe in the core ideals of the Order. Yes. And if it hadn't happened, I'm assuming you still haven't told them. All right. I believe. You still would be in the water. 
But yes. you're asking for a show of change. Fine. As I said to your hungover companion. Which one? Was... They are all hungover. It's just varying degrees. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> one with the really big Got head. It. As long as there is a golden egg out there and people know about it, you will be hunted. It will never be safe. But the order can provide protection for all of you and for the egg. That is not to say that we are trying to uh, dictate what will be done with it, but obviously our main priority is to make sure that it is safe. But how are you going to show me? Show me you've changed. Let's just say that in recent months, some of the concerns you raised with the order before your insubordination, we'll call it, your indiscretion. I prefer then. departure, but go on. All right. Departure. Let's just say some may have come around somewhat to your way of thinking. Hmm. So we're interested in hearing your ideas and finding together a way to proceed with this hitherto unforeseen circumstance, this unprecedented chance for us to bring golden dragons back to the land. And to place a bargaining chip on the table right now, and with all apologies to your purple cow, is it? Yes. I've been authorized to say that a return to the order is not out of the question for you. Ooh. So what's next? If you would consent, we would travel together to Mistmire. The egg would remain in your possession. You would be considered under the protection of the order. And from there, from a place of safety in Mistmire, can decide what to do with these dragons. We have the chance of fulfilling a destiny and founding a new legacy here. And I don't want to throw that away recklessly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll need to discuss it with my fellow adventurers. Of course. Metal when <laughs> make me a wisdom perception check, please. That is a uh, 24. Mm -hmm. I'm very wise. <laughs> so humble. So humble. <laughs> Not that humble. <laughs> I, I've, I, I, you're, you're an elf again, right? Mm hmm. Okay. What do my elf eyes see? <laughs> Don't butter me up. <laughs> um, you see a cloaked figure standing on the dock. Um, actually, just sort of walking along. There's a cloaked figure sort of like walking along along the dock. And then you uh, you sort of see them look out over the over the um, sort of the bay. And uh, they kind of like look over, look to the Joyful Damnation, look up, snap back to the Joyful Damnation. And you see them kind of like, they pause, they, they have a really good look at the ship. Mm. And then they turn and they start to leg it back the way they came. Um, as they go, their, um, their hood sort of flies back with the wind coming in. Um, and you see sort of like, like a, it's hard to describe, sort of like a, sort of like a gold, Draconic sort of head shape. Um, uh -huh. Looks quite a lot like Egbert, actually. <gasps> and they're absolutely hooning it. Okay, uh, how far away are they? Because we're just like around the corner. We're just not in the dock. We're just in a like, little bit around the corner. Yeah. I... They're quite a long way away, basically. You'd recognize but... the silhouette of the damnation. Yes. It, we're to, we are talking like silhouette distance. Yeah. And Egbert. I can only assume has a very distinctive run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're talking, we're, we're talking like real, like, oh yeah, like they're like they are like over there far. Yeah, if that makes sense. A bit too far for a arrow. 
<laughs> I would. It would be a very difficult shot. You are. And another walk. You have to arc it. <laughs> yeah. You can try. You can always try. I'm going to give it a try. You can right. always try. So that they know that we know. Mm. Even if I miss. Okay. A warning shot, you say. Okay, that's a 15. Okay. Um, it clatters off like some roof tiles. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. long shot. Um, and it, like, arcs, but you kind of, you know it doesn't hit. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like, sort of in the street, people hear, like, ding, 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 and then an arrow just pops mm -hmm. onto the floor. Um, which is vaguely concerning. Mm -hmm. Are they worried that it's like he said something about making a point? Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 He's actually is like, doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think we'll end it there. Mm -hmm. All right.